What's up everybody? Welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and I'm going to be doing a little nine hole video. Not just not keeping track of score, just you off some of my RPM discs. So this is basically RPM disc video. Show you some of my stuff. I'm at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. So I'm not gonna be using a lot of drivers, but uh, probably not even gonna keep score. Just gonna throw multiple shots on every hole and just kinda keep you up to date with some of the stuff uh, that RPM has. So if you do not know by now, uh, RPM has picked me up and put me on their team for the 2021 season. So a huge thank you to RPM Discs out of New Zealand. Uh, hole one here, I'm going to be throwing the P Waka Waka, which is a mid-range, a uh, little bit of table mid-range. So I'll be having to pop it on a hyzer, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to throw three off hole one's tee here and show you. <clears throat> Mocked up round also. Don't know if you saw that, but all right, let's try this P Waka Waka. So as you can see, I can get that to turn a little bit. That was absolutely my first throw in a few days. So I'll try a couple more here. Ah, okay, so this P-Walka Walkie, P-Walka Walkie, P-Walka Walkie, we call it P-Walk uh, for short, but this one is the Strata Plastic Baseline. A little bit more understable, so I've got to pop it on a little bit more hyzer. Ah, uh, all right. So we're going to go to hold two here. All right. So I've got my lovely assistant, <laughs> no, my lovely girlfriend Amanda, recording this for me. So huge thank you to her. As you can see on my back, RPM Discs, New Zealand. My buddy Jacob Standridge whip that up on there for me um trying to see where my first p walka walka landed and i'll put from it all right here's where the third one went okay so the first one's right up it's actually a lot better so the first one was actually a lot better than i thought it was you see it up there i have a putt for a two not bad for the first throw of the day Okay, so for my putting putters, 2021 season, I'm using the Magma Soft Tuis. So you can see there, one of the things that really actually turned me on about RPM discs is their stamps are all birds. So you can see the uh, Maori names of birds in New Zealand. So the Tui is actually the name of the bird in this case, but you can see here where my P Waka Waka landed here. Putt for a two. And missed it, but good thing I got two in my hand. There we go. So, didn't really make the first putt, but that's okay. We're going to go on to hole two now. Okay, so hole two here, it's a little different. Um, it's usually straight out down in the field down through there. Today, it's in this stupid short location. I hate it. If you had part in putting that hole there, you were wrong. Sorry. Um, this one's just for me, uh, I'm just going to take a Kiwi, you can see here, I have a Cosmic Kiwi, uh, their Cosmic plastic is similar to like your Champion Z-Line kind of plastics. Kiwi originally, to get ready here, was designed to be understable, and uh, it was first the Tanawa and the Raptor, and it was understable. If, uh, if what I've read is correct, um, it was supposed to be understable and it was too understable for what they liked. So they retooled it, which made it a beast. So they changed the numbers on it. It's like a 10403 or something now, but I think it's like more like a 10404. So I'm gonna try and get it right through this little gap here and skip over towards the basket on the right over there. You can see how stable this thing is. It's like a Firebird, but more overstable. So that skipped up and is laying under the basket. There's a uh, Carolina chickadee literally right above me right there. You can probably hear him on my mic. So I'm gonna throw a couple more, show you a couple more. This is a Kahu in the Cosmic Plastic, as you can see. 
Another play I'll do on this hole being a lefty, just big hyzer. You hear this, Amanda? Because I'm going to be at the top there. So do a big hyzer over the top, let it kind of spike down in towards the basket. So Kahu's a uh, speed 12 driver, speed 13. I'll show you what it does on a hyzer. Just let it spike down in by the basket. Yep, yeah, that's beside it too. And I'm gonna show you also, there's really no reason for me to be throwing drivers on this course. Could you calm down, chickadee? I hope you can hear that. But uh, this is a, a Kahu also in, uh, it's cosmic plastic, but it's a OS Kahu. I don't know if they say Kahu OS or OS Kahu. I've always said Kahu OS. Really gummy, check that out, really flat. And uh, this thing is a beast. I compare this to something like an X1. I don't know if they're all this stable, but I'm just throwing this here to show you how overstable it is. I'm going to throw it on Anheuser. Watch it go to the right. So you kind of saw. We're going to go see where I landed on the first and second drives. All right, so as you can see here, the Kiwi very overstable kiwi skipped up perfect hope you can hear those chains on there and the kahu that i did the hyzer over the top landed right over here so we're going to see if we can get two birdies oh joshua okay here we go all right so that was silly of me but so far with these magma soft twoies I'm absolutely loving them. Okay, so uh, if you haven't noticed already, this mocked up round, this is actually the first mocked up round I've done. So comment and let me know if you like this idea or not. This hole, I don't know the distance. This is going to be really hard to see, but I'll see if I can block the sun and show these discs off. I'm going to be throwing the Huia. Huia. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to say that. Uh, at least, uh, you know, over here in the States, I've heard some of the New Zealanders say it, and of course they pronounce stuff a little bit differently than we do. Um, I've got one right here in the Atomic Plastic, which is my favorite blend of plastic by them. Uh, and then this is a Strata, and uh, it's the, their baseline again. I got a couple baseline discs to let them beat in quicker so I can get some more flippy stuff. I'm going to be trying to go on this left side gap, see if we can do it with this uh, one that's starting to beat in here. Oh, I can't even see the gap. Okay, so that one didn't really go the left side gap, but we'll try that again. This Cosmic Plastic, I absolutely love it. Let's see if I can show it off. It's, or I'm sorry, that, this is Atomic Plastic. I love, I love the Cosmic as well, but this is my favorite um, plastic. It's like, some of them are a little bit gummy and some of them are kind of stiffer, but I like the gummier ones. It's great plastic, so we're gonna try this one. Torque a little bit over on it with some Anheuser. because it's new. Okay, so that got up through the gap. That's up there, and then I'm gonna try one more of my, as you can see here, my Kahu XG. Got from my buddy Dustin Elmore. You can see his name there, you probably can't, but he's really who got me into it, so shout out to Dustin. I'd always been interested in Kahu, or at RPM discs, because of the bird stamps and whatnot, but, uh, this one right here is the first RPM disc I got and I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna do a little turnover, try and get up through the gap. Yeah, that was okay. Let's go see if we're putting. Okay, so Kahu XG Ooh. landed right up here. I dyed this one myself as well. I don't know if you can see that. Absolutely love how it turned out. Um, the Strata Huia landed right up here. I'm gonna be going with the one that's closest to the basket just for the sake of the video. The Cosmic. I'm gonna have a little hyzer put around here. I meant to say the last hole. These these twoies, they have them in a uh, couple different blends of, uh, or a couple different stiffnesses. They've got the soft, which is 
anybody that knows me knows I've always preferred softer putters. So I got the Magma Soft. They also have just Magma and Magma Firm or Hard. So I'm gonna have to do a little step ante putt here, which I'm not really comfortable with, but let's just give it a try. Woo! Gave it a good bit. I'm gonna try that again. Might as well. All right. Another Magma Soft Tui. Little Anheuser bid. Got it. Oh, man. It faded out right at the end. Let's go to hole four. So this hole four is really short. 200 feet little uh, forehand shot for me. So I'm going to be flicking the Kea. So this is a, their most overstable mid-range. Um, beaded mid-range, as you can see there. It's kind of got that. It's similar to like a Prodigy A3. It actually whistles if you really get some torque on it. I won't be getting torque on it here because just a little chip shot here. Uh, so I'm going to try and chip down to that basket right over there with this forehand with this Kea. Well, it kind of did whistle. You might have heard that. So as you can see, it's not silly beefy, but good over stability. I'm also going to be flicking a couple Kotoku's. This right here is an amazing mid-range. It's a uh, Basically like your buzz rock kind of disc. Uh, I've got a strata one that's beating in to fly really straight. If I, you know, put a little hyzer on it, it'll be fine. And then this one here is uh, my Atomic. And uh, it's still got a little bit of beef on it, or quite a bit, not as much as the Kea, but check this out. Okay, so I just went a little inside there. Let's try this other one, the uh, beat in strata so as you can see it flies pretty straight and i'm also going to be trying this pewok the the beat one trying to see if i can do a little turnover and get it to flex so i've done this before with putters and mids it's a harder play for me on this hole but i just want to show you some of the glide on this pewok that's too high That was horrible. Let's go putt. Okay, so as you can see this Kia, it may be pronounced Kia, Kia. I'm horrible at these names. So hopefully some uh, people can correct me in the comments with how to pronounce these, a country boy like myself. Putt with my twoies here. Let's see if I can hit this for the two, get a twoie with a twoie. Sorry, it's horrible. Yep. Oh, it spit out. All right, let's try this other one. Yep. Okay. So, as you can see, these putters are really working for me. I love them so far. It sounds weird, and I'm not trying to just promote the band or the brand. Well, of course I am, because I'm really falling in love with these RPM discs. But I've never had a putter pop off of my hands like these do so try some two e's out yeah okay so um hole five here 302 feet i'm gonna be throwing a couple of p walks uh and then i'm gonna throw this katuku just show you how straight it goes especially in this blend here uh the uh strata blend so i'm, I'm probably gonna actually go with the uh p walk first Look at that, it's beautiful, beautiful. Show you the glide on these and how straight they can go. All right, you good? Here we go. You can see that's just dead straight. Well, like it was maybe 250 or something. So I kind of didn't put a whole lot behind it, but try the other P-Walk. This one right here is the Atomic one. Last one I threw was a Cosmic. Let's try this one. I got that one a little bit too high, but you can see how dead straight these P-Walks go. Now I'm gonna throw this Katuku. Just, uh, I might have to put a little bit, not really necessarily Anheuser, but just kind of posture up on this one. 
to get it to fly straight and it's not going to be quite as glidey as the p-walks sorry i'm out of breath you probably see hear that i'm not used to throwing this many on one hole but i just want to show you some of these discs let's try this so you can see it's pretty much like here buzz or rock once that one beats in it's going to be great for turnovers as well i don't think i'll use it as much as the uh walk but or as far as turnovers but great mid-range so I forgot as you can see uh, the baskets not in that location uh, the normal light the normal basket location here is just straight where that little mulch pile is you can see up there when we get up there closer I'll show you there she looks like she's zooming in now but you can see that that first p-walk that I threw right here was Pretty close, looks like right around circle's edge. Unfortunately, I didn't think that it's in the alternates, uh, but at least I got a chip shot up here. Okay, so you can see, here's where my P-Walk landed. Right there's the original pin, you can see there. Um, but right here's the other one, the alternate. This is where I would use my Ruru's. It's the other putter from RPM. As you can tell, a Ruru is an owl. Uh, beautiful stamp absolutely love it I also have this one uh, it's also a cosmic both of these are cosmic but uh, it's uh, this one's uh, infinite disc stamp so this is exactly where I would use these they're pretty much kind of a dead straight putter when thrown a little bit of turn to them so I'm just gonna try and do a little soft hyzer and just try and try and throw it in the basket to be honest throw it a couple times and see That's pretty close. Let's try this infinite disc stamped. A little high, it's gonna hit that branch, but. So I'm also bagging two throwing putter twoies. This one's a magma soft. Uh, it's not quite as soft as my putting putter ones, maybe once it beats in. And then I've got this one here, this atomic one. And uh, these are more understable putter uh, as far as throwing. So I'm gonna try to do a little turnover through that small gap there and see if we can do that just to show you how these two weeks throw so as you can see they're great for hitting lines like that try this other one should be a little more understable so great putters all right the first good all right the first one I threw landed right here so tap that one in Let's just see what we can do from the one that landed the farthest away from the basket. Let's see if I can make my... Yeah, kinda. So as you can see, these twoies, these magma soft twoies, I absolutely love them. They feel so great in the hand. If you know me personally, and uh, you're around the area, Come catch around with me and try some of these RPM discs out. I promise you'll love them. All right, so both sticks is in the alternate position, unfortunately. Usually I would do like the P-walks, get them to turn over to the pin on the left, but I'm gonna go with the Huya. I'm gonna throw the uh, Strata one first and see if I can just get it to go. Turn a little bit and then flex out towards the pin. See what Oh, that might That one was really good, to be honest. Happy with that. This one's a little bit more stable. Not over stable by any means, but it's going to fade out. The uh, premium. Too much time. That's bad. Okay, so my Huya landed right there, right at it. So unfortunately, this Huya, if Amanda will zoom in here and show you, this is unfortunately a bird that is extinct, which is pretty sad. So really cool to have that on a disc. Let's go to hole seven. Okay, this hole here, it's 319 feet. So I'm gonna be going with a Kahu XG. 
out towards the basket. Oh. You good? Okay, so after I almost murdered girlfriend, sorry about that, sweetheart. Um, I'm gonna go with another Kahu XG. It's a uh, newer, so I'll turn it a little bit more. We'll get around. Oh, I didn't turn it at all. That's not good. Hey. All right, so now I have just a normal variety of Kahu here. Uh, it's also cosmic. Cosmic Kahu. So let's try this one out. That's much better, but. On it. Mm. Okay, so this was a horrible shot, the one that I almost murdered my lovely lady. I got some weird footing with these roots. So normally we throw a mid range distance, but I'm going to this Huya because I stand still with the straight get a little. That should be fairly close. It's a putt. Uh, it looks like I skipped down the hill a little bit. Do a little strap. The trees. Give it a couple runs. Ah, a little low. Get it with this one. Or not. Let's just see how the Huya putt. New putter. Got a new putter, fairway driver from RPM Discs. Okay, so hole eight here is a uh, lefty friendly hole. Good thing since I'm lefty. 333 feet. I'm gonna be throwing my Katukus. Uh, I'm gonna go with a straighter strata one for my first shot here. And we've got a golf cart coming, so we will wait. Okay, hole eight, throwing my Katuku. See if I can just hit the gap. Get a little bit of soft fade. That uh, could be perfect. Ah, it's fading a little bit early. It's going to be down there, but it's not the best. So I'm going to go with my Atomic Katuku here. I can't hardly talk. There we go. That's more like it. If it don't hit that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And another one I'm going to throw just simply because I haven't thrown it yet on the video, is uh, Katore. It's, uh, Katore is a kingfisher, by the way, as you can see. If you don't know, I'm an avid birder with my lovely lady, Amanda. We love going bird watching, watching the birds in our backyard, going and finding birds. So it really made sense for RPM disc here. So uh, this one is a 12503, so I should never be throwing it on this hole, but I haven't thrown it on this video yet, so just to show you what it does. I'm going to try and get a little bit of turn on it, then try and get down the gut. That's pretty good. Still pretty new, so it's fading pretty quickly. Well, let's go see what we got. So the Cosmic Katuku landed right here, so not too far from the basket. As you can see, they got a pretty decent amount of glide. Uh, the strata one, first one I threw is right here. This hole on the uh, T sign says a par four. Shouldn't be, but so this is technically for Eagle, but not really. So let's give it a run, see what we can do. Can you see the basket? Okay, I'm gonna try and hit this. All right. Soft magma tui. A little bit of spin, step. Ooh, a little bit long. I'm gonna try one more. It's gonna be a tough putt back up the hill. This is awkward footing of this hill, but. Nope. So I did the one thing you don't wanna do on this hill, or on this hole, go down the hill. Let's go putt. Okay. All right, I didn't go down the hill as far as I thought I did. I still gotta putt for the three par save or birdie. Oh man, okay. Missed it twice. Unfortunate, not gonna let that happen. We're gonna go to hole nine. All right, so 
hole nine, this is gonna be the only, or the last, <laughs> almost said the only hole we do. Uh, you're only getting a one hole video out of this video. You thought you was in for more. Uh, so this is gonna be the last hole. As you can see, we're running out of daylight. Main focus of this video, just kind of show you some of these uh, RPM discs and uh, get some more of you interested in them. So uh, this is actually the only hole I've ever aced on this course. It's 229 feet. I'm gonna throw this uh, P-Walk, p walk a walk out here. This is my Cosmic one. We'll try and do a little bit of Anheuser on the outside and try and get it to slowly turn and park it. Ooh. So, as I said, uh, I'm going to be throwing a few on this hole. I didn't say that yet. I'm saying it now. I'm going to throw mother pee walks and a couple putters once again. Hole nine, last hole. Why not give it some ace runs, right? Here's my atomic pee walk. Well, well. All right. Once again, this is the more understable pee walk, so I can actually put a little hyzer on this and it'll still turn. Oh, that might be in. Oh, <laughs> Liam, did you see that? Rob. All right. Okay, let's go with these roo -roos. Let's try these out here. I'm just gonna go kind of straight up the gut with a little bit of hyzer on them because they'll flip up a little. Okay. That's not too bad. Try this other one. Infinite disc stamped. No. Okay, do. That's fine. All right. Last two I'm gonna throw as I'm running out of breath. Okay. Are my twoies. Do the same thing I did with the P-Walks. Get a little turn. A little too much turn. Okay, one more. Last one. All right, so uh, let's go putt. Okay, so last putt for a birdie attempt from the day. Um, I hit something up here got shut down a little early so we're going to try and do a little hyzer putt with these twoies just see if we can i'm not expecting to make it because i'm not too good at these kind of putts to be honest but see if i can hyzer it around the tree and at least hit the basket Ooh. okay one more let's try it out Might as well. So this is where the closest one landed that P walk. Just don't like to end the round on a miss putt or a bad drive. Just do that for confidence. So that's it for the video. Try out some of these twoies. Most people that have tried these out, they've loved them. P walks. Probably the straightest flying mid range in the game. Pop it on some hyzer and it just glides straight. Amazing disc. So that's going to be it for the video. Well, thank you for tuning in. Huge thank you to RPM Discs. Remember this logo and these brands. Actually, first before I go, I will say I've had several people ask me already. Just get this answer out of the way. If I'm missing anything in my bag in my lineup now that I had before, I switched. 100% RPM. Answer? Yes. One thing. So the only thing I'm really missing right now is just something uh, like a 10, 11 speed understable disc. Those of you that know me like to know that I like to do a little hyzer flip, get some bomb drives out of that, just straight shots. So they don't currently have anything like that. That's why I've got some of the baseline plastics in my bag beating them up, but they are working on a disc right now. Hopefully 
going to be done in uh, May. So I've heard it's going to be called the Pika 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 Pika, something like that. So uh, really excited about that. Besides that, honestly, absolutely loving my bag. I love it as it is anyway. It'd just be great to have something in that spot right there. I'm beating some stuff in to get to that right now. That Huia is pretty close to it, but not quite there yet. But that's it for the video. Huge thank you to RPM Discs uh, out of New Zealand. Check them out, rpmdiscs.com. And thanks for watching. Comment, please leave some comments below. Let me know which one you're most interested in. Uh, maybe I can let you try them out on the course sometime. We will be doing some disc reviews and giveaways as well on some RPM Discs. So. Please leave a comment, share, uh, click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. Some things. So that's an outtake. Almost got a black ace. That's how you play hole eight slash nine. We're gonna try that again. That's an outtake for sure. Well, that was morbid. Okay, you ready? Chipmunk! Sorry. Brother, he just ran over there. See him? He went in him hole. Okay, you ready? All right. Okay. You'll be waiting a while. I'm tired. Okay, here we go. This thing. Oh, my mic done hanging on the ground. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Outtakes, outtakes. Okay. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.